The passage for today is John chapter 1 verses 10 to 13. In verses 1 to 5 we saw that in Jesus the Logos, the divine plan was the Zoe life. His soul was filled with the Spirit of God so that he could have an intimate relationship with Father God. And this Zoe life was the light of all mankind. And verses 6 to 9 we saw that God sent John the Baptist as a witness to this light of the world that is coming into the world to light up the souls of mankind. And in verses 10 to 13 the message is born of God to believe in his name and become a child of God. In verse 10 it says Jesus was in the world and though the world was made through Jesus the world did not recognize him. There was so much darkness and ignorance. He came to that which was his own, the nation of Israel, but his own did not receive him. The word is paralambano, that even though they believed in a Messiah they failed to grasp that he is the Messiah. Yet to all who did receive him, all who did grasp who he, who he was, to those who believed in his name. See, name represents everything that the name covers. It could be one's rank, one's authority, one's interest, one's pleasure, one's command, one's excellences, one's deeds. So, so those who believed in his name, God gave the right to become children of God. The word for right is exousia. It really refers to the power, the power that the world did not have, the power that the Jewish people did not have. And God gave so that people could believe and become the children of God. Now, how did this power come? Goes on to say, children born not of natural descent. That's why the Jewish people could not have this power to believe. Nor of human decision. This is not the will of one person, a decision he made and he received the power. It's not a husband's will to have sex with his wife and give birth to a child. This thing cannot be passed on. This is born of God. This is the result of the Spirit of God entering the soul of a man and the soul becoming a living soul and through the Spirit of God having a relationship with God to comprehend who this light is and through that light how our soul can be lit up. So, Father God, we thank you for sending Jesus Christ. We thank you that the life that was in Jesus Christ could enter our soul through the Spirit of God. We were just born because we were birthed by your Spirit. We thank you, Father. We thank you for this amazing gift. Thank you for opening our eyes. Thank you for sending Holy Spirit into our hearts. Teach us to be full of this life. In Jesus' name we pray. Please read these verses and allow the Holy Spirit in you to show you the words that he is speaking to you through. And then write the hats of prayer, the H, the hear God, A, the ask God, and the T, the thank God. Jesus' name.